Heather, we are all going back to school with these numbers because this math is incredible. Check this out. If you have an elementary school kid, this study estimates you're going to spend about $500 on back to school supplies. If you have a middle school kid, you can bump that up to $700. And if your child is in high school, hold on to your hats because they're estimating you're going to spend more than $1,200 in school supplies. Do composition notebooks, um, paper, pencils, hand sanitizer. Teacher Natasha Fleming is stocking up on school supplies for her second grade classroom, but she's also keeping an eye out for deals for her daughter. So she'll be transitioning in from elementary to middle school, so I'm kind of nervous <laughs> for her. Shopping around, she noticed prices have been going up, but she didn't realize by how much. A new study by Huntington National Bank's annual backpack index found prices have jumped 7.3% this year. A graphic calculator Fleming could have picked up for 90 bucks last year is now more than $100 in some stores. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> Seemed like a lot of things have went up. People who ran the survey said they weren't sure what caused the spike in price, but Fleming says some parents at her school were already struggling to buy back to school supplies. From year to year, I always run into that where I might have two or three or four students that may not have everything that I request on the supply list. When that happens, Fleming usually picks up the tab herself. The National School Supply and Equipment Association found teachers will spend $347 of their own money to help students in need this year. So I buy stuff for my class for students that can't afford their school supplies, so I give out my money and I buy stuff for my class. But she keeps her eye out for a deal and says she's ready to bargain hunt for her daughter. I'll get her list and jump on it. <laughs> And so the study actually does provide some suggestions about what you might do to mitigate those costs. First, assess what you already have. So if you already have a calculator from last year, you might be able to use it this year. Secondly, shop around. Make sure you look for those good bargains. And thirdly, talk to your neighbors. Maybe they have a kid going into fifth grade who can pass on some of their supplies to your child. Reporting live, Caitlin Ross, First Coast News.